A message from the many faces of Ronald McDonald Children's Charities. Love lifted me. Love lifted me. When nothing else would do. You can help lift kids to a better tomorrow through Ronald McDonald Children's Charities. Write to this address for more information. Cartoon All-Stars to the Rescue is the powerful story of a teenager dealing with drug and alcohol abuse. Some of your favorite cartoon characters will help you understand how drugs and alcohol can ruin your life. So watch the program. Talk about it with your family. And make the right decision. Stay away from drugs and alcohol. like a baby. <gasps> Great Smurfs! Corey's piggy bank is gone. Hey, what are you going to do? do? What's the problem? Who smurfed the bell? Hurry, my little Smurfs. Corey's been robbed, and we must wake her up. What? Track down the thief, Garfield? Hey, going through life with a blue lampshade is work enough. Wake me when the lasagna comes. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. Do you want to help, or do you want to be lunch? My luck to be stuck on a dresser with a pushy alien. to be of service. But where's Alvin? Alvin! Busy! There's someone who needs your help! What? Another autograph hound? Come on! Hey! Wait a minute! Put me down! Steady, my little smurfs! Steady! Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm not late for breakfast. Am I? Oh, Pooh. It's perfectly obvious we're trying to wake Cory up, but we're not trying hard enough. Come on down there. You're not pushing. Oh. Oh. Think, think, think. Perhaps if we wake up Kermit, Kermit will wake up Cory. Sheesh. I hate when that happens. Sounds you can't miss. A breaking piggy and the sizzle of hot lasagna. I don't like the looks 
of this. Neither do I. No food in sight. Somebody's coming! All right. There must be 20 bucks in here. Easy. I can't believe it. Corey's own brother? Wally never did this sort of thing to the beeve. Michael? It's me. Go away. I'm just looking for... Is that my piggy bank? I told you to stay out. It, it fell. I was just trying to fix it. Is he kidding? It fell from my dresser into your room? You took it. And what's in that box? None of your business. And keep your hands off. What's all this for? Either someone is conducting a major chemistry experiment, or this is a serious no-no. Toto, something tells me we're not in cartoon territory anymore. What's that funny smell? I hate to suggest this, but my guess would be marijuana. An unlawful substance used to experience artificial highs. You're acting really weird. So who asked you? If you wanted some money, you could have said something. Are you feeling okay? What's wrong with your eyes? Nothing. Leave me alone, will you? Michael, you always tell me everything. What's wrong? Michael? Honey, where are you going? That kid's got a one-way ticket to Nowheresville. Simon suspects drugs. Oh, my. Oh, that's bad. Mm. Michael needs our help. Then let's help him. <laughs> What difference does it make? I got it, didn't I? Yeah, that's it. Do it. Makes you forget all about your sister and her stupid piggy bank, doesn't it? Yeah, this stuff's pretty good, but I got something even better. Latest thing. Oh, now that's cool. Mikey! Mikey, you gotta try this. It gives you a major high, like that. I'm in. Okay, I'll try it. You in, Michael? You don't want to be left out, do you? Come on, what are you waiting for? Try it, try it. You want them to like you, don't you? Cops! Beat it! Sorry, pal. At times like this, you're on your own. Great. It, it, it was my first time. Honest. I'll never do it again. Eh, uh, what's up, Doc? Huh? You're not a cop. Okay, you win. You got me dead to rights. I'm not a cop. I'm a rabbit. But just because I got long ears doesn't mean there's nothing in between them. You were running from a rabbit? <laughs> He's a cartoon. <laughs> Look who's talking. <laughs> you know, kid, you don't look so good. What's this? A joint? So what's the big attraction? I mean, uh, how did you get started anyway? I started because I wanted to. What do you care? <laughs> Call it the curiosity, Doc. But if you're giving me that old cause I wanted to routine, maybe you need a little memory refresher. A time machine? <laughs> I borrowed it from some kind of... Hey, He's mine! Now, let's see here. Where's that instruction manual? That's funny. There's a couple of beers missing. Oh, honey, you probably drank them watching football last night. Who else would take them? Huh. Well, I'm going to start cleaning out the garage. Call me for lunch. 
Corey, is your brother all right? He's been acting so strange lately. You know, we love you both. And if there's something wrong, we'd like to help. I don't know, Mom. I don't think so. Thanks, hon. Excuse me, but why didn't you tell her? Pooh! You can talk? <laughs> of course I can. But you never talked before. Why? I believe you're right. But now I have something to ask, if you please. Why didn't you say you were worried about Michael, too? If I tell and he gets in trouble, he'll blame me. Perhaps. But what will happen to him if you don't tell? Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Next stop, two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Catch. Hey, thanks. And where's the color? Listen, kid, this is the past, and the past is in black and white. Get it? This is the bit where your whole life flashes before your eyes. Um, do you recognize that guy, perchance? Uh, it's me, when I was a kid. Do tell. You guys cruising for lung cancer or what? <clears throat> We're getting high. You know, <coughs> grass, marijuana. Well, yeah, sure, I knew that. Want to hit? What's the matter? You scared? No, no. So, you still think it was your choice? Well, I didn't want him to think I was a wimp. Better a wimp than an all-day sucker. Everybody's doing it. Come on, it's no big deal. Do it. It's like the old saying, if everyone was jumping off a cliff, would you go too? Hmm, I guess you would, wouldn't you? Not very bright. Definitely not one of the world's foremost thinkers. Hey, lighten up on my man here. He was just experimenting with some friends. But they're my friends. They wouldn't do anything really wrong. Well, what makes you think they know any better than you? Hey, he needed me. All his cares went... No worries, no bother. <laughs> Everyone's got problems, kid. Even us rabbits. The point is, nobody gets everything they want. What's important is what's in here. You know, what makes you you. You gotta believe in yourself. But I make them feel good. I make them... <laughs> sure, drugs make you feel good for a while. But that's only temporary. Because sooner or later... <laughs> Sure, anytime, sugar. What's up? I'm worried about Michael. He's been acting really weird. Corey, being weird is just part of being a teenager. He'll grow out of it. I think it's more than that. Huh? Nothing. Never mind. You know, for ten bucks, I could score us some crack. Oh, yeah, crack. Now we're talking. You've got money, Michael. But crack? That's serious stuff. Come on, Michael. You're not gonna chicken out on your friends, are you? Yeah, what are you, baby? Got your wallet. Hey, give me that back! It's so totally cool. What am I doing down here? <laughs> like you fell through a radical hole, dude. You could have avoided it, but you weren't thinking. Come to think of it, that's a lot of your problem. What problem? Drugs, bud. Your brain must be, like, really messed up. Drugs don't do anything to your brain. They just make you feel good, right, Mikey? Right. Oh, dude, if you're taking his word for it, you're really in trouble. Better see for yourself. Well, what are you talking about? This. Where am I? Well, you're about to take a trip through the human brain 
thanks to the power of imagination. And after we go on this ride, Kermit's taking me to the Tunnel of Love, aren't you, Kermit? Um, right. How romantic. Does you my brain? You see, Michael, drugs can take you up and make you feel okay for a while. Yeah, I'll say. Inside me? This is what's happening inside me? Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Who can think straight <laughs> in this mess? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, he's gonna fall! Abandoned brain! to me. Are you okay? Huh? Now I'm seeing ducks? Oh, man. I gotta get off of these drugs. Drugs? Oh, bad news, Michael. Why don't you just say no? Well, maybe it's because I don't want to. Maybe it's because you don't know how. Let's show him how to say no. Well, you look like three fine lads. You know, I might have something here you'd like to try. Something to make you feel real good. There's myriad wild and wonderful ways to say no. No say, no say. Better learn a few and take them wherever you go. No dice, no sir. If you're pals with that's the advice. Here's a practical reply. Go ahead, let's fly. Spit right in his eye and say no. no. There's a myriad international ways to say no. Those drugs are so boring. Oh, no. Works fine, but the bottom line is to show me some signals. Now you could say beat it, get lost, get out of my face with that stuff. But that could be tactless. You may prefer cool like this. I'll get you guys later, okay? I've got too much homework. It's rough. I paid for my baseball game and I'll miss my ride. My kid's sister needs me. My hamster does. Not a home. There's no time to kill. So I'll catch you later. Like heck I will. I'm allergic. And a good excuse is something you never outgrow. It's back to my complexion. When you pass a biscuit wreck. A strap left, self respect. Go on, push, eject, protect yourself. Get, get up, up and go. Be the first one on your block to say. Yeah, forget it, Doc. I told you to stay out of here. Pooh Bear wants to know why you don't talk to Mom and Dad. Tell Pooh Bear to mind his own business. I just want it to be like it was before. Yeah, well, it's not like it was. So get out of here. And if you say a word to Mom or Dad... Ow! You're hurting me. 
I didn't mean to. Pesky brat, you did the right thing. Well, I don't know. She is my little sister. I, I don't know what's right anymore. I'm not in very good shape. You look great. Would I lie to you? Well, you... Whoa! If that's me, I'm in serious trouble. We gotta do something about this. Hey! Hey! I just saw myself. Man, I look great. Uh-huh. The thing is, we don't always see things the way they really are. This one, for instance. What do you see? Me. I see me. Wrong! Flag on the play, ten-point penalty. Who's that? Well, it's not Freddy Krueger. This is you. Pretty pitiful, huh? You see, drugs aren't your pal, pal. They're your enemy, storming the battlements, trying to take control. I could quit if I want to. I'm in charge of my life. Wrong! Not if you're on drugs. If you don't believe me, talk to the man in charge. But that's me. I'm in charge of my life. The man in charge. Hi, Mikey. <laughs> Michael? I know you told me to stay out, but... Michael? Go ahead, kid. Open the box. It won't hurt you. Who are you? A friend of your brother's. Open the box, Corey. Well, if I were you, which I'm not, I wouldn't listen to him. Oh, Father! Oh, bear! Relax. He's only cloth and stuffing. <laughs> Besides, that bear doesn't get around much. I do. Trust me. Open the box. What is all this stuff? Why don't you see for yourself? Somebody help me! How do I get out of here? You don't want to be left out, do you? Try. Try. in my little crystal ball. Come on, Corey. Your big brother uses it. And if I do what Michael does, maybe we could be friends again. Sounds right to me. What do you say? This is odd. The picture is very dark. All I can see is... You're looking into a bowling ball. <laughs> yes, of course. That would explain the 710 split. There. Now can you see my future? Of course I can. I've got a knack for this sort of thing, you know. Look closely. Closely. Your future lies. Be 
behind those doors. I don't think I want to see this. It's... it's me! This is my future? It is if you don't get off those drugs! You use, you lose! Listen to us! We care about you, Mikey! What's up, Doc, is your life, if you don't cut it out. There's nothing cool about a fool on drugs. Just believe in yourself! Yeah, you're excellent just the way you are, without drugs. How do I get out of here? No! Cory, don't you ever, ever, ever do this stuff. But you did it. I was a dope. I was wrong. <sighs> then stop. Please, Michael. I don't know if I can. Face it, kid. We're buddies for life. Whether you like it or not. You don't have to quit on your own. Talk to Mom and Dad. They'll help. I'll help. Listen to me, Mikey. I think I've listened to you long enough. Hey! <laughs> Can't get rid of me this easy. I'll be back, and you can bet on it. He's right, you know. He will try to come back. And when he gets here, we'll be ready for him. Right, guys? Right! Oh! Oh, thank goodness. I thought I was going to miss something important. Let's go talk to Mom and Dad. When the going gets rough, and there's times that it will, as you grow. Get these words in your heart, and they'll help you come through like a pro. If the old you starts to slide, there's a stronger you inside. Saying, hang on, kid, hold tight. Don't ever let go. And remember all those wonderful ways to say no. And as you get taller, you'll see. Get stronger and stronger, you'll be. That's how the world works, kid. That's how it's designed. One day, forget that you know us, you may. But promise you keep what we say in the back of your mind. When the going gets rough, you need someone to help you pull through. For then you'll always have someone. Guess what, kid? That someone is you. But we hope that you that so. Production of the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences Foundation. Funded by McDonald's Corporation, its licensees, and Ronald McDonald Children's Charities. A message from the many faces of Ronald McDonald Children's Charities. Love lifted me. Love lifted me. And nothing else would do. You can help lift kids to a better tomorrow through Ronald McDonald Children's Charities. Write to this address for more information. And remember all those wonderful ways to 